What is up, YouTube? Just got a quick video here. I wanted to showcase some custom cards I had done for Flesh and Blood. So, of course, like a lot of people, you saw Arachne Huntsman, Assassin, the new Assassin hero from Flesh and Blood, uh, the Dynasty set. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you were like, oh, Hitman or Assassin's Creed? Like, I, I want an altar. Um, couldn't find any artists that had openings that could do altars. I can even pull the card actually, because this the adult Arachne is a mythic pull or majestic, sorry, in this game. And so yeah, he's, he's already a hard a pull to just get and send off to an artist. So I was like, I want these now too. I don't want to wait for an uh, an artist to do an altar for me. <clears throat> so I contacted Big J Customs. He does a lot of cards for Magic: The Gathering. And he has an Etsy page. Uh, check out the link below for uh, checking out his website and items over there. <clears throat> anyway, so I told him what I wanted. I shot him some pictures, and he did these for us. So first, I wanted uh, two Arachne cards done in Assassin's Creed. So I had a young, the young Arachne as uh, young Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. This one turned out, uh, I think, like a 7 out of 10. I kind of had doubts about it when I when he gave... He does give you, like, um, what's the word? Like a test image, I guess, of like how it'll look. And it kind of looks smashed to me. So to me, this kind of looks a little smashed. Like maybe it should have been widened a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. Should this Does this look good like this or should it have been widened a little bit, the art? So, yeah. Not bad, there's some print lines kind of from like the ink, but I mean, Magic the Gathering has that shit and it's a multi-billion million dollar game, so I can't fault it for that. To me, this looks pretty good. I think he charges $5 a card. So yeah, not bad. Uh, $5 if you contact him on Facebook. <laughs> and he might charge you a little commission fee to do the art, but it's money well spent to me. Um, back is a flesh and blood card. What I think he did, I don't know what his process was, but if I were to guess, he got a foil flesh and blood card and just defoiled it and printed over the foil card. Does not feel too thick, um, but it doesn't really matter on the thickness because it's a hero card <clears throat> and it doesn't matter. He doesn't go in your deck. Here is the adult version. This is Ezio from Brotherhood. Some art. Oh, I wasn't even checking if this is centered in the camera. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the uh, quotes that are on it. So this one, this one, Young Ezio says, nothing is true, everything is permitted. Classic quote from Assassin's Creed. And this one says, oh, ha, they say the same thing. Nothing is true, everything is permitted. Maybe I should have told him a different quote for this one, but oh well, still a classic quote. Can't hate on that. Backs on both. Flesh and blood cards. <clears throat> and over here we got Hitman. We got Agent 47 from the Hitman series. Very badass art. I think this one actually turned out very good. This says, there is a bullet for everyone and a time and a place and end. So yeah, this Turned out pretty badass. I love this art stripping down like blood. So yeah, very cool. Love it. Money well spent. $15. I think I paid him a $20 commission fee to just do like do the photoshopping and all that. I don't have that skill. If you have that skill, then obviously you'd save money doing it yourself. But it's just time is money. I didn't want to have to photoshop it, do the art centering. Printing, defoiling the card probably takes a while, and then printing it out. So, yeah. Money well spent. Thank you, Big J Customs, for these cards. I'll put them to good use. Peace.